Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you done? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll cover the atomic shop since Life it's a reset. Uh, it's Tuesday, so we most probably got something new or not. I don't know. We'll see. And afterwards, we're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly challenges. Hopefully, I hope they were not auto completed because I reinstalled the game today just specifically to fix it. So let's stop wasting time. Jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, let's go and start with the Atomic Shop. By the way, it does look like maybe my challenges did not get on to complete because I joined a team on the public world and it gave me some score. So I believe it's one of the dailies. But anyway, let's go start with the Atomic Shop, take a look at what we got today. We got something free, let's check out follow first section. And there's nothing here, I believe that they're going to be refreshing this moment every once a month. Okay. <clears throat> what is that? Hmm. <laughs> For five hundred atoms. Raider Collectron. Raider Collectron searches for camps and alcohol as well as ammo and weapons. Whoa. All items found are placed in a container connected to the Collectron station. Using terminal, you can choose which types of items the Collectron should search for. Okay, <laughs> am I even gonna get this bad boy? We'll see. Shadow Prime Power Armor skin is a returning one. Okay, oh, hey, these two are actually nice. Then we got repair kits on the main feature. Okay, scrap kits. Okay, red white curtains with uh, a 20% discount. Mm. Okay. I think I feel that it's these two are already good. That's a time limited, by the way. I really don't wanna buy camp items because of the camp building budget, <laughs> which sucks. But anyway, am I gonna get the col the radio collection? Uh, I'll think about it. Ah, oh, dang it! That music is crazy all right let's try to speed things up not to waste any more time let's go all right so then we got bird wallpapers uh, returning no thank you then Corvega and skin bundle okay coolio I wish the rocket launcher as well was kind of looking good but that is not looking good at all or if we could implement by the way our weapon skins onto those weapons like let's say for example I have this really good looking dragon missile launcher right here that I will unlock by playing nuclear winter is got a freaking dragon there you go if I could put it there okay take my atoms but since those weapons are looking ugly uh, no thank you uh, vending machine paint set Okay, these are the very first skins that ever came out when the vending machines came out. So there are definitely way better machines, skins such as Free States and Raiders and Halloween and a whole bunch of, including this one, by the way. This is a vending machine, if you didn't know. No, turns out. But anyway, I already covered this section last Tuesday, so I'm not going to go into more details over here. But then we got the greatest hits. We got. 35% discount for down home bundle. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, no, thank you. Uh, the lock cabin is a pretty cool one, by the way. I must say, this is epic. If you sit on it, you can get the well rested buff. I have it at my uh, hot topic camp right in the middle. Uh, this one I was reviewing, I reviewed the entire bundle. This was broken. Uh, but it should be animated moving around like but I'm not sure if it's fixed now or not but anyway 
I made a full review, and by the way, this is an exclusive, but it drains a whole bunch of, uh, well, not, well, yeah, a lot of budget, and it's limited to three, so you can place only three cabins. But anyway, for more details, visit my Before You Buy playlist, and you'll you'll find this bundle there, and I've reviewed it. Uh, then we've got, ooh... Okay, so you're returning a bundle with weapon ghost things. Okay, I understand that. Why there's no discount for it? If you're returning it. <laughs> or maybe it's leaving, I don't know. Well, I ain't buying that. I'm gonna wait until discount comes up. Plus, I don't even use them. I used to have a minigun. And I loved it, but I moved away from miniguns. Now I'm shotgun. Basic power armor paint set for 40 atoms. Woohoo. No thank you. 50% discount. Woohoo. Duster. Western Duster. Ooh, I'm actually gonna grab it. Uh, with the 50% discount, pff, take my atoms. Also, looks really nice with the black cowboy hat that you can find. Uh, you can find at the uh, White Springs Golf Club. You go down. There's a wheelchair. On the wheelchair, there's a skeleton, and on the wheelchair, there's a black cowboy hat. And I'm taking it. Plus, it also looks good with the red bandana that you can find in the Vendigo Cave. Just walk inside the cave, and pay close attention. Skeletons or a teddy bear. They always have a red bandana. Or just look onto my playlist uh, where to find 100% outfits. And uh, I have shown those locations. The ra 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 do Rocket Suit Girls back again. Ooh, 50% discount, but no thank you. Cowboy hat. Mm, you know what? I'm actually going to grab it because with some outfits, you can actually use it and it looks better than the black, uh, black cowboy hat, but. Honestly, the black cowboy hat looks way more cooler. Uh, so Lucy is back. The paint for the minigun. This is a good min. This is a good paint, especially if you use miniguns. But I wonder what's the discount. Well, I hope it's fifty percent. <laughs> Curvega backpack with a thirty percent discount. Three hundred. Mm-hmm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And I'm going to grab that one I actually like it as well you can find a lot of good combinations so wow since I'm starting to do more of uh, uh, you know outfit combos series I need different uh, kind of outfits I I presume it's better to take these instead of the building materials as I'll, I prefer more to review like clothing and make combos of clothing instead of camp building uh, so that's why I'm going to pass out on a lot of camp building things, but I'm going to say hello to a lot of outfits and make reviews for those. By the way, if you do not know, you can always preview the building items before you actually buy them. And you can do that just simply by going to uh, whatever, uh, like whatever of these sections, right? And, oh, okay, let's find something else. So basically, let's presume that, are you serious? I have everything? Come on now. I don't. I shouldn't. Basically, okay. There you go. So, you can preview it before you buy it. You see? I don't own it, and I can unlock it. Bam. But since I don't own it, you can still preview it. So, I don't see the point of making before you buy for the camp building materials, as you can preview them before you actually buy them. All right, let's go next. Oh, T's joined my my team. <laughs> so T, how you doing? Okay, then we've got uh, the camouflage bundle. Has been returning a whole bunch of times. I ain't gonna get it. Uh, the umpire outfit, which by the way, I think I did a before you buy video for this outfit. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I'm gonna have to check in. If I didn't, then I'll do it. Uh, rustic wallpaper set. That's a cool wallpaper, I'm telling you. But, to be honest, you can unlock way better ones with the legendary run. Well, if you're a camp builder, you might want to have a lot of a lot of different types of wallpapers, so you might even... You can get it if you want it. Uh, this is really optional. Uh, the Mothman jetpack. I think I got that one with the bundle. Yeah, and by the way, if you're getting it, it doesn't mean you will be able to craft it as soon as you get it. You still need to learn the plan, jetpack plan before you craft it. So for example, if you have XO1, 
but you haven't learned to plan for the jetpack for the in-game jetpack you and you and you think you can buy this and just put it on it on XO one eh, no it will not work you still need to get the plan and only then you can put the jetpack on your power armor and of course it doesn't work with excavator power armors because excavator power armors don't have jetpacks <laughs> so uh, basically in short if you have a power armor, you need the jetpack plan learned, and then you can um, implement the skin onto your power armor. Uh, those, that's info for those who are new. The Mothman Plushie. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that again. Why? Okay. I gotta tell you, this thing looks sweet. I got it because it looks sweet, plus it looks good with the samurai outfit. The Mothman Cultist, I can wait. What? I got. I think I got that with the bundle as well. Okay, these horns and whatever for f minus 50% discount. White and blue linoleum and foundation, floor foundation. Uh, okay. And special Lunbox emo. Getting it off the bat. I like that one. Okay, the Nuka Cola vending machine. According to the patch notes. This thing is with a 50% discount for Fallout First owner users. So, uh, if you're a Fallout First and you don't have this thing, you can buy it for 250 atoms. And it goes from 14th of July until the 21st. That's it only if you're uh, a member of Fallout First. Which, okay. <laughs> uh, then we got the Astro Turf. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I would buy it, but I don't want to. I used to have this on PC. I used to use this a lot. Come on, man. 50% discount. And there's going to be a whole bunch of other items coming in with 50% discounts. So I'll expect to receive some daily notifications now from me. And it looks like there's going to be more than just one. So, Voltec Paint and Astro Surf, these are starting today, ending tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be getting some new stuff. Yeah, so expect to get a notifications from me uh, videos and we're gonna take a look at the daily scores as well how to complete them which by the way means that I've pretty much covered all of the sections I'll think about if I should get this one I'm 790 atoms only and um, I don't feel like buying anything else but anyway I would also highly recommend just to quickly quickly run through these sections over here because uh, Bethesda sometimes loves not to put uh, discounted things that uh, they put on the feature list they forget to put them there and we have them here and since I own a whole bunch of stuff for me it's very hard to tell you what is here what is not especially with the confusing and patch notes that I don't trust them more because we all know they always love to do mistakes on the patch notes so I don't trust those things no more uh, so that's pretty much it uh, for the atomic shop so let's start and take a look at what we got for the daily and the weekly uh, challenges and they are not auto completed for me the only bad news is when I uh, reinstalled the game I lost my photo gallery so if you're on Xbox take a screenshot of all the things that you have in your photo gallery because I was I am still depressed some of them I, I already have they're on our discord but some of them I did not make copies of and they're gone forever and rest in peace thank you Bethesda but anyway let's go with the challenges daily uh, buy an item from or sell from another player what is that three times now okay so buy three things and you'll get it done by the way, we're going to check it out if it works with the player vending machines, because I haven't tried that yet. Complete a daily quest. Okay, that's super easy. Uh, gold star, complete five, and you get... Oh, there's nine of them again. <laughs> Thank you. Because yesterday's, uh, my dailies got auto-completed. Kill a glowing creature. Okay, kill a mole miner. We're going to collab that. Well, for the high level, uh, I can. I, I know how to do it. Uh, kill Scorched, level up, and kill a creature. One creature! Thank you for making that easy. I'm actually going to do that one as well. 
And four of the weeklies, and they're all here. Thank you, Bethesda. Thank you. Uh, build a workshop or camp. Uh, okay, d many different things. The floor decors and blah, blah, blah. By the way, uh, there was a bug that you could do only three of them, and it still worked. Let's see if that is the case again. Uh, complete an event ten times. Deal a critical hit to an enemy with shotguns away. Super easy. Kill 30 creatures. Kill a huge creature. Wow. Okay, so kill a Deathclaw, Behemoth, and Marla Queen. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, Behemoth, you can find here. When you fast travel, is right here. Then uh, Deathclaw here, for instance. And by the way, Queen, you can find there. Easy. I think I'm not even going to show you them because they're all very easy. Kill Legendary Enemy, okay. Level up three times, okay. And Repeatable, okay. These aren't all super easy, but let me go ahead and do them right with you so that because basically not all players know how to solve these. So if you're interested in seeing how to complete these dailies and weeklies, then this is where I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and you all drill. Hit that like. And if you need help with completing these, then stay put. We got a, a whole bunch of lists to do. <laughs> Apart from some of them, like uh, complete 10 events. I think that's straight to the point, right? All right, let's go. We're going to test out if we can bu get this completed, uh, buy an item or sell for, to another player from a vending machine. So in that case, what we're going to do, we're going to jump to this terminators camp and see if we can buy something if we can actually fast travel fast travel thank you Bethesda all right so let's give it a try T if you don't mind I'm gonna buy three bullets from you oh you cockroach so they want us to actually complete uh, three actions so what you're gonna do is just bam Bam. Ba and I locked another beautiful item. Mm. Alright. What are we gonna do next? Kill a creature. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. That's uh, Nuclear Winter. Well, Nuclear Winter one I'm not gonna cover in this video because it's simple. You gotta play Nuclear Winter, load into the game, and shoot a creature. Alright, so. Uh, kill a glowing creature and if I'm not mistaken what else the mole miner mole miner yeah so that I usually do at the black water mine but I see there's a whole bunch of people there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to Welch there's a lot of those mole miners there and hopefully I'll find one uh, glowing one all right so once you're in Welch there's my glowing one Boom, thank you my atoms. Welch, by the way, once again, is right here. And while we're doing this, we can kill another 10 of these guys. And we're complete, we're gonna complete the kill mall miner thing. Plus, while we're doing this, we're also completing the uh, kill 30 creatures ch uh, challenge as well. That's for the weekly. So they're all pretty much super easy, right? And Welch is a really good place to get those things done. How many did I already kill? Man, come on, you should be. I should have already completed this by now. Hello. How many more should have you killed? There we go. No? You cockroach. There we go. Done and done. And by the way, I did mention how I completed one more event so if we go back to the daily challenges daily challenges join a group with another player on right that is a super easy one especially if you go into public you just go to public teams find a team that is not full join and you get it completed so yeah that's a really quick one what else do we have to do? Complete a daily quest. Ooh, daily I would go with one of these over here. Because those are like super easy. And uh, they 
there's two of them by the way if you do dailies you earn scripts so definitely I recommend you doing those if you have free, a free mode <laughs> by the way another reason why I should come here I forgot that we have to kill 10 scorched there's there are always scorched here so bam this is another reason why you should come here to do your daily because you can easily for instance start this one right here or I think that's the hot deck one the, the hot deck one is even easier so basically all you got to do is just pretty much eat the hot dogs and you're done and bam I already completed my kill 10 scorched so easy no problemo yeah, what else did I just complete kill scores let's take a look on our day well you know what here this is the daily right and there's a whole bunch of dailies by the way if you're new in your daily uh, pip boy chat these are all dailies and if you complete any of them they work so in my case I would do this one because it's gonna be the easiest one to do all you gotta do is just eat uh, six hot dogs and you're pretty much done so check this out hot dog Stop litching, stupid game. Love and hate and bon appetit. The burping man while I'm recording. Cockroach. There we go. And another one. There we go. Come on, stop burping, man. That was nasty. So, as I said, as soon as you're done, boom. You get more. Oh, Cobra is here. What's up, Cobra? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Okay, I guess Cobra wants to do the challenge as well, so let me help him to do the challenge. I guess he didn't doesn't know that all you can do is pretty much... Uh, oops. Oh, come on, Cobra. This thing is broken, huh? Mm, bam, 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 bam. There we go. So basically you get the point, right? <laughs> so from the dailies, I'm done. All I gotta do is just level up one more time and kaboom. Now let's start doing the this one. We're gonna do the workshop or camp. That's uh, a pretty good one because what we can do is capture some workshop that is not being captured. Ah, oh, come on, man. Why is this game... When are you gonna fix the stupid fast travel bug, man? <laughs> what you gotta do is just take over a workshop and start building. Alright, so once you've captured the workshop, you gotta start building. Bam, 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 bam. So we're gonna do my boom. Then this is counted to be as a wall decor. There we go, one is completed. Plus, I think it also counts as light. Let's build one more. No, I don't. Damn it. So, what else we got there to do? Challenges, weekly. So, we got the light done. We need the stairs and floor decoration and displays. So, we go with the stairs. Bam. Done and done. Then we we'll go with floor decor. Oh, you can actually do the stash as well. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, stupid game. Oh, this thing is so slow. Floor decor. Confetti, confetti, done and done. And what is left? Challenges, weeklies. Ah! Plant or build water source. Okay. So, by the way, did you see that it didn't work on third? So I think they might have fixed this thing, which is good or bad. Oh, let's see if the sink counts.
It should. I guess it's not counting. Let's go. Challenges. <laughs> oh, you gotta do eight. It, it is counting. <laughs> well, by the way, this is the first time I'm checking out the clean sink. And this is a reward that you get from doing legendary run. It's at the very start. Boom! Did I just rank up? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing? I'll, I'll take that as well. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Pl pleasure doing business. Alright, so let's see what else we get on the menu today. Challenges. Uh, weeklies. Oh, deal critical hits. Damn it, I should have started dealing deal with my. Okay, let's go kill huge creatures and we're definitely gonna deal some critical hits. So, as I said, oh man, that guy most probably already killed my target. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hope that there is a big behemoth there as well. Well, they killed my behemoth over there, so we're gonna kill a Grafton monster instead. And right now, we're gonna be killing a Deathclaw. Okay, we killed a Deathclaw, and I'll show you where I did that. Oh, kill creatures as well, I just completed it. <laughs> wow. So, this is where you kill the Deathclaw. Or, if you're a lower level, uh, you can kill one over here, in Deathclaw Islands. Also, you might see um, a public event uh, appearing here. Uh, let them take over the small island, and level 20 Queen will appear. Myler Queen and you'll be able to take care of her. Plus, there is a Grafton monster over there, Grafton monster over there, and honestly, it's pretty easy to do. Well, these tips and tricks already should help you out. So, I'm gonna go and take care of the other queen over there. So, this is my target. Bam, she's dead. And I completed my deal critical hits to the enemy. And I just unlocked some more stuff. <laughs> Legendary run, so man, I already got three ranks just by doing this. Lol. Okay. Uh, by the way, for those who do not know and you are new, how to deal critical hits and why you should use shotgun. It, once you aiming, right? You see the critical hit meter over there, right? Uh, when it fills, you initiate a, a critical hit. Now, since the shotgun or one shell con contains like eight bullets in one shot, it whenever you shoot, it deals sort of eight critical hits. So you hold the critical hit uh, trigger while in VATS and initiate. So this thing is super easy to do with shotguns, with bloody builds, especially if you got AP, AP, but basically to deal those critical shots is very easy as well. And we just killed another target that I wanted to kill. Now we're gonna go and go to this location over here and help someone defend it. By the way, Snallygasters also, uh, I think, Oh no wait, hold up, let me load in and check. Now forget about Snallagasters, they don't count. Snallagasters count as encrypted, but not as a big creature. So bam, and we've completed the big creature uh, weekly and what we have left. Challenges, let's still level up, complete 10 events, kill legendaries, and level up 3 times. <laughs> Alright, so the next ones I'm not going to show you how to do them because it will take a whole bunch of time and they're very straight to the point. Just complete the 10 events and you'll get a thousand score kill, uh, well in my case four more legendaries. If you're going to be playing, you can, kill, you can complete all this in one day. I'm actually not going to complete it all in one day. If I get the chance to stream today, I'm not sure if I will have a chance to stream today. Uh, then level up three more times, get 1,500, and this is a repeatable one. So for the daily, what is left is level up, and that's pretty much it. So these challenges are pretty much easy. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. Have that in mind. So if you want your comments to be read by other users and replied to, uh, don't swear. Simple as that. You can always provide your negative feedback uh, and keep it prop. You know, not the f bombing, the comment. You know. But anyway, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 5,491 Z Clan members, and 
We're having a blast. Thank God that the challenge didn't get auto completed. I hope they didn't get auto completed for you. But if they did, please let us know in the comments down below and send Bethesda emails and tweet the living hell out of them. So in this way, we get this problem resolved. Previously, the main trigger for these auto completion was the nu uh, nuclear winter. Now I have no idea what triggers those. So. I hope it didn't happen to you. But anyway, thanks all for watching the video. Once again, hit the like, join our Discord, read the rules, or get banned. Simple as that. Follow the instructions, and you'll get it all done. I made it super easy. But if you still need help, there is I need help chat, and ping your questions there, and uh, me or anybody from ZClan will be able to help you out in that chat. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. You all have a good morning, day, and night. And I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best Z Clan Z Clan oh, Our hearts and our soul, we will forever know Our community strong, oh, this is our song to the depths of the heart.